Let's talk about the matchup between the Grizzlies and the LA Clippers coming up. They've got two games, a back-to-back. The Clippers are led by a superstar in Kawhi Leonard and then a whole bunch of veterans. The Grizzlies, obviously, so young and led by an up-and-coming superstar, but he's still very young. What do you like about kind of like the juxtaposition of these two teams going head-to-head, like the young guy and the old veteran superstar? Uh, You know, I just... John Moran is just such a fun player to watch. And, um, you know, I think I think the Clippers really have the guys to sort of put on a guy like that. Uh, you know, Patrick Beverly, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard. So I really look forward to seeing how um, both coaching staffs adjust to each other, how the players adjust to each other on the court. Uh, I think it'll be a really fun matchup. Uh, the Grizzlies have some really nice role players. I don't know if Dylan Brooks is playing, uh, but Kyle Anderson's been playing well. Brandon Clark's been fun to watch as well. So um, I really look forward to it. It's a matchup of... Two teams who don't really shoot the ball um, from the free throw line a lot. They don't. They don't take too many threes. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing how they how they match up against one another. It'll be fun. They got two matchups, uh, both in Memphis. So a lot of adjustments there to be made. So. Okay, tell me your opinion and what you think is more important. One, when you're going back to back against the same team, does youth is youth more important? Where like you can bounce back and like play back to back or. Does having that like veteran experience in adjustments play more of a role? You know, the Clippers are an older team, so I, I think um, from a back-to-back perspective, probably. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I told him the dog was gonna bark just in this. <laughs> you may have heard mine. Um, I think I, I give the advantage to the Memphis Grizzlies on that because they do have the young guys. They do have the. The legs, the younger legs, the fresher legs, uh, and they're coming off. I believe it's it's two days off before they play uh, the Clippers, and the Clippers are playing tonight against the Wizards, and then travel over to Memphis. So, I think the Clippers will be a bit tired if we're comparing the two sides. But um, look, the Clippers have a veteran have a veteran team that they've been through so much. Everyone in their starting lineup has played at least ten years in the NBA. They've got a couple on the bench who played ten years. So, uh, they're they're a really deep team. So, I don't know who has the advantage there, but I think. Each team has some kind of advantage. Uh, I just don't know which one comes out on top, but it should be fun either way. I, I, I'm excited for both games. Yeah, we're about to find out, really. Okay, my last question. Okay. All of the matchups, you talk about these guys who have 10 years experience and then a lot of our guys, you know, we have some guys, Kyle Anderson's been around, but if you had to pick one matchup that you think is gonna be the most exciting to watch, it is? I, I think it's obvious, but I think it's John Morant versus Patrick Beverly. Um, I, I think John Morant is a guy who doesn't back down, and and, and for for a second year guard, um, you know, even though he's he's young, it, it's it's impressive to see that that fiery nature that he has that he plays with. Uh, he attacks the basket the same way every single game, every single drive. He attacks to destroy his opponent at the rim. And Patrick Beverly is a guy who had to work his way to where he is now. He had to go overseas. It wasn't easy for him. It wasn't like the traditional route that some of these players have nowadays. And so I think each player has, has a, a unique chip on, the, on their shoulder. And that's just going to be, that's just going to make for a fiery matchup. I think there's a lot of respect there, a lot of mutual respect. But I think that once you step between those four lines, it's going to be a battlefield. And I can't wait, exactly, I can't wait to watch it because it's just going to be an absolute battle. Um, I'm probably going to give the ass to John Morant here uh, just because he's, he's got that offensive explosion. But uh, listen, Pat Bev is no, is no slouch. He's first team all defense for a reason. He gave Donovan Mitchell hell earlier this week, uh, Steph Curry early in the year. So uh, it, that, that's my matchup. It's John Morant versus Patrick Beverly. Awesome. I, so I would have said the same thing. My like secondary one is I think, and I know that JV is a center and Serge Ibaka is not, but like the battle of the rebounds with those two guys, um, you know, former teammates, they're both leading their teams in rebounds. They're both just like crazy guys in the paint. I think that would be my secondary um, matchup to watch. But I appreciate your time. Where can we get your work? Uh, you can find my work uh, on Twitter, at uh, Tomer Zarli. It's my, my name my, is my handle, uh, T-O-M-E-R-A-Z-A-R-L-Y. Uh, you can find my work on Clutch Points. And uh, a lot of my a lot of my video stuff is on Instagram. I post a lot of uh, post-game content, so I'll probably get some, you know, Post game footage of Kawhi, PG, maybe some some grizzly stuff as well. So um, that's where you can find me. Yeah. Perfect. We'll make sure to tag you. And honestly, we appreciate your time. I can't wait to battle with the Clippers later this week. Oh no! Thank you for having me, Kelsey. I really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to a good matchup. So hopefully, we get two really good ones. I think we're going to. And everyone in Memphis, you can always get more on GrindCityMedia.com.